settling into that comfortable position that works for you. Whatever space you're occupying, whether you're sitting upright, whether you're lying down or reclining, do it with a sense of stability, feel of the stability and a sense of dignity, meaning simply meaning you're present. You may rest your hands on your lap or on the arms of your chair, on your bed, wherever works for you. And either close your eyes if you wish, or lower your gaze downward, a soft gaze. Do what works for you. I invite you, if you would like to try, just lowering your chin slightly. And it helps to cut down on overthinking. So settling into your body, oh, take your regular breath, just your regular breath, and dropping your shoulders. Anything that you may have brought into the room, just dropping them, anything that you might be carrying, any burdens. Now I'd like to invite you to take the three settling breaths if you're comfortable with this. Otherwise, just continue breathing comfortably. Breathing a full breath up from the belly into the rib cage, feeling it front and back, bringing it up to your chest, pausing just for a second before the long, slow out breath. Pausing again before you start over with that deep breath up from the belly. And do this two more times. Letting your breath Return to normal when you're ready. This helps to stimulate the parasympathetic nervous system and relaxing with that in exhale, dropping your shoulders, just softening the entire body as you exhale. Oh. As you soften, feel the spaciousness, spaciousness and an opening up to being with what is, to whatever you have brought in. Not rushing, not judging. If there's any tightness or constriction, go ahead and just do a scan from your crown all the way to your toes, bringing awareness to any areas that might need breathing into or any areas that need softening. If anything arises with a hint of impatience or hurriedness, I would encourage you to just breathe slowly and calmly without judgment, inviting in this awareness you have of your body, of what's going on without reacting. And knowing this is all a process, going back to the breath and viewing this process with patience, applying patience to this whole process, staying present with what is.
Letting go of any thinking, worry, anxiety, and any shoulds about this experience. Staying connected to the breath and the body. This is perseverance. And also paying attention to any part of the body that just feels fine, that is neutral. And remembering how much this body feels fine, how much of our day, there's some part of it, hopefully that feels just fine, so fine we don't even notice that there's no pain there. And we take and we acknowledge this, but not take it for granted. Giving thanks for this body and this breath that has brought us this far. Breathing in a sense of gratitude and breathing out a sense of ease. And continuing that flow of breath, that sense of stability and patience. I invite you to bring into your awareness a felt sense of someone who has shown you patience in your lifetime and done so without judgment, not overthinking, just the feeling that comes with thinking of that person. And if no one comes to mind, that is also fine.
allowing any sensations that arise with this association and perhaps qualities that this person or people or a pet even embodied. And expressing gratitude, if you wish, for their wisdom and compassion and all they did to move you along this path. And for the next few minutes, just resting into this place of openness, creating stability and strength and confidence to cultivate patience. And any insight that might unfold.
as we come to this part of our meditation at the end, I would like to invite you to repeat with me, if you wish. May I be happy. May I be peaceful. May I be free. May my patience guide me along this path with ease.